Hello everyone, I'm Landon Schwing and today we are doing this certification project, build a palindrome checker project. Um, let's see what we have to do for this. Um, it should be pretty simple, um, but it looks like we have index, we have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to work with. Um, a palindrome is a word or phrase that can be read the same forwards and backwards, ignoring punctuation, case, and spacing. So a famous one would be race car, for example, because it's spelled the same way forward and backwards um, okay so we have to follow these user stories we have to have an input element with an id of text input so it looks like we are in our index.html file so in this case we can add input elements with an id equal to text input and there's no ending tag for that so here's our text box um, or input, um, you should have a button element with an ID of check button. Okay, so we can do a button ID equals check button, like so. And I'm guessing it should probably have like check as a as a text. You should have a div span or p element with an ID of results. Okay, let's do a div with an ID of results. And then when we click on the check button element without entering a value into the text input, an alert should appear with the text please input a value. Uh, when the text input element only contains letter A and the check button element is clicked, the result element should contain the text A is a palindrome. Um, when the text input element contains the uh, text I, uh, it should contain the text i as a palindrome. Okay, so basically, when we um, click on this button, it should um, go to JavaScript, do a calculation to see if it's a palindrome or not, and then it should update this div to say if it's a palindrome. Okay, so let's see here. The uh, check button, we need an on click event. So on click. We're going to call a function. It's going to be check palindrome or something. Check palindrome. I think this is okay. Although, how do we get the text of the input in there? That's what we're going to take a look at in this JavaScript. So, we need a function check. Palindrome. I actually want to add an event listener to our button. I actually don't really want to do this on click event here. Let's uh let's grab the button first of all. Okay, so we have our HTML here, our JavaScript here. Let's grab the button. So we're gonna go const the check button equals document uh, get element by id we're going to grab the check button i spelled this wrong okay and now that we have the button we can do check button dot add event listener and i think this does this take a callback function no no um Add event listener. We do the f we do like on click, and then check palindrome or something. Here, let me see. Okay, so yeah, we go mouse up and then the function for add event listener. So this should be fine. We add our event listener on click. We check palindrome. Let me just console log, make sure this works. Clicked. Okay, so if I console and I click on this, it is not doing anything. I wonder if it's because I need to actually have, uh, like, I need to put script.js in here 
So I need like doc type, HTML, and all that. Boilerplate. Probably do. Which is unfortunate. Okay, this add event listener thing is not working. Let me just do check palindrome here for an on click. Okay, so now that will run the function when I click it. And I don't need this. Instead, I just need to grab what's ever in the input. So I think I can do that with const input text equals document dot get element iid. We grab the text input and we grab dot inner text. So now I can console log the input text and say I put something in here. Now I check. Okay, that's not working. Why? Why does get element by ID not work? What if I get rid of that inner text at the end? And I just have input here. And I go input text dot or input dot inner text. Check. Okay. It's just it's logging nothing, I guess. I guess for inputs, we have to use value, actually. So instead of inner text, it's input.value. I think, yeah, now it works. Awesome. Okay, so now the rest should be pretty simple. I have to grab our result. So const result equals document dot get element by ID. Grab the result. All right. And now we just need to make sure we can see if it's palindrome or not. Okay, so we're going to check if it's palindrome by doing a little algorithm. Let's do a for loop. I think a for loop is the most simple. So we're going to do for let i equal zero, i less than input dot value dot length, i plus plus. And actually, let's do input text and input dot value here. So then I don't have to have this value inside of this. And I just do input text. Let's get rid of that console log. We don't need it. Okay. Input text at length. And then we're going to say if our input text of y is equal to input text of i minus one or i dot input text dot length minus i then we would return true so actually i'm going to do not equal to and if it's not equal to then we return false or we return it's not a palindrome. A palindrome. Otherwise, if it makes it through all that whole for loop, then we return it is a palindrome. And let's see if that works. Um, if I do race car and I check, I actually have to update. I don't want to return, do I? No, I just want to... Well, I can return out of it after I update the result text. Result dot inner text equals. 
and then I can return out. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so if I do ACDF, it's not a palindrome. If I do race car, then it's still not a palindrome. Probably because we're going the first index and then the last index would be R, right? So that should be equal to each other, R equals R. Let's console log input text of I and see what we get. If we check race car, we get R and then it immediately returns. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, no. Oh, no, because it should not be equal to input text at length minus i minus 1 because i is 0 and since indexes are off by 1 then I think we just have to do that okay now it says it is a palindrome awesome okay and if I have without the r then it's not a palindrome all right so there's our beautiful checker what do we have to do for the instructions uh, let me see should result a is a palindrome okay so we have to actually take our input value and put it in here so let's actually make this a uh, back ticks and then we can do dollar sign and interpolate the input text it is not a palindrome and we'll do the same thing for this is a palindrome. Okay, so now ASDF. ASDF is not a palindrome. A is a palindrome. I is a palindrome. I, oh, if it contains an underscore, it should still be a palindrome. So we have to like clean the text as well. Race car is a palindrome, even with a space in inside of it. This has to be a palindrome as well. A man, a plan, a canal. Never odd or even is a palindrome. Okay, so we have to like get rid of all the spaces, commas, periods, everything that's not text. Okay. Let me look that up. And I'll just figure it out. Um, I'm not getting very good results from Google. So we need to take our input text and we have to clean it. So let's see here. And then we actually, we have to still use it in this, right? We could do it like all one, one by one, or we could use rejects, I think. Okay, we're going to go just input array equals input text dot split. We oh, know dot um, is it dot split? Yeah, it is split. Okay. Input text dot split. We're going to split it by everything. We're going to do a for loop. Or we're going to go dot filter. Yeah, we can do dot filter. We're going to filter each character. If character equals character dot match, if it matches a rejects, is it forward slashes? If it matches a period, a space, a underscore, and a comma, 
And I think, do I have to put this in? I think I have to put this in these brackets. Global I. Let's see if that works. And then we'll go input array here. If I check ASDF, it says it is a palindrome and it's not. Okay. Let me console log the input array. Okay, it's empty. Yeah, maybe I have to do not match here. Okay, there I get ASDF. If I put a space in here, then it gets rid of the space. Okay, perfect. If I have one of these since this is a palindrome it says it's not a palindrome but what do I get here my age is 00, zero si hym I also have to make everything lowercase so I'm going to do dot 2 lowercase at the end of this. So if I put that back in and check, dot two lowercase is not a function. I must have spelled it wrong or something. Oh, I know. It's because I'm not joining it. That's why. It's not a function on an array. It's a function on a string. So I actually want to do lowercase before I split it. So I'm going to do dot two lowercase before I split before it becomes a, an array. So let me do that again. And now it says it is a palindrome, which is perfect because that's, that's what I want. And it cleaned it perfectly. Okay, I don't know if we learned rejects yet in the previous sections, but rejects are very useful for stuff like this, for cleaning inputs. Let me just check if, if it passes the tests. Passes most of them, except for the alert for please input a value. Okay, so we can do that pretty easily by saying like if no input text, then we do an alert with please input a value. Okay, so now if it's empty, this pops up. Um, any others? Okay, this one also messed up. Okay, because we have to clean out the... Oh, we know. What is this? Zero, zero. Oh, we have to clean out these dashes as well. Okay, so we'll just add a dash in here. Let's uh, check this again. Run the tests. Okay, this one also, this one still does not pass. Let me see what it gives me. Check. It says it's not a palindrome. Because it has a double backslash in it. it this backslash is messing everything up. Do I just get rid of forward slashes and backslashes? Or like, why is that happening? Oh, also, these are not the same characters, right? The parentheses. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of the parentheses. And also the slashes. So I think we can do backslash parentheses, backslash other parentheses. And we can do backslash backslash to get rid of the backslashes. Oh, maybe not. Um... How do we do this? Range out of order. Can I put it in front? I think so. So now if I try that again, now it says it is a palindrome. Okay. Let's see if this passes. It does pass them all. Okay. <laughs> it's not the most pretty thing in the world, but um, yeah. Got the job done, I guess. Getting it connected was half the battle. 
But after that, we get the element by ID, which is the text input. Yeah, so we grab the input text, this. And then we make sure it has a value. If it doesn't, please input a value. We grab the um, result div, which is empty, so it doesn't even show up here. Um, we clean our input by turning it into an array. We make it lowercase. And we filter out anything that matches this criteria, which is a regular expression. And what is it? this is saying is, okay, backslash is the escape character. So we're actually grabbing this uh, parenthesis here, grabbing this parenthesis here, grabbing the backslash, grabbing a period, grabbing a white space with a backslash s. We're grabbing the underscores, commas, and dashes, and we're saying if it matches these, filter it out. Okay. And that's how we get that clean, just like raw text or raw letters input. We console log it, just to make sure it's right. And then we check if it's palindrome. So if the start of the array equals the end of the array, and then it will like move in closer. And it will actually also check on the opposite way. It will kind of do this to the array, checking along the way if they're the same. If at any point in that process they are not equal to each other, the characters, then it says it's not a palindrome. Otherwise, if it gets through all that without returning, then it is a palindrome. And so that's this whole project for you. Um, hopefully it didn't take too long. I'll edit it down. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The next video is going to be on uh, learn the date object by building a date formatter. Let's see if this saved my pro progress. It looks like it did. Um, so should be fine if you click out of it. And let me just complete this. All right, there we go. Next one, learn date object by building a date formatter, 29 challenges. All right, I'll see you in that video. Peace out and bye.